Hello everyone, this is Than from TitleGardens.com and today we're going to be talking about fragging Bavia brain corals. So it's still a little bit up in the air whether Favia make really good candidates for propagation to begin with. The major issue with them is that they're one of the slowest growing stony corals out there. Still, they're uh, fairly easy to propagate and um, even with their growth rate issues, a lot can be learned from just practicing on them. So as the title indicated, we're going to be using a liquid cooled um, diamond bladed bandsaw to be cutting these corals and it really is the best tool for the job here. You can see here why I like using this saw so much. It's so precise that you can basically isolate single polyps. You would think with a saw like this that I could just buzz right through this coral, but the reason why I'm taking my time is because this particular coral was recently imported. And most of the time, corals that are coming straight from the ocean have much denser skeletons than corals that are aquacultured. What I'm showing here is a technique that I call undercutting. What I'm basically trying to do is cut away the bottom portion of the skeleton. Now the reason for this is because a lot of times that bottom portion of the skeleton has a lot of dead and decaying matter in it, and I don't want that to adversely affect the new cuttings. The second perk is that it actually gives you a nice flat surface that you can later glue onto frag plugs. Now that the pieces are all cut, it's time to glue them down to a substrate. A question that I get a lot is how long does it take the coral to dry once it's mounted? And the answer that I give is not long at all. Um, basically it only takes a few seconds and actually cyanoacrylate gel superglue will cure underwater so even if it isn't completely dry when you put it back in, it's not going anywhere. And that's about it. These frags are pretty much ready to get back into the tank. Thanks so much for watching.